My name is Ken Clark. Here we are analyzing Ray Edwards' starting technique. We used automatic timing to get Ray's 3 and 10 meter times, and used both regular and 300 hertz video to analyze his mechanics. Ray's an elite level sprinter, so all the factors we are analyzing will be discussed in comparison to what he needs to do to reach gold medal status. Gold medal winners reach the 3 meter mark in 0.72 seconds, and the 10 meter mark in approximately 1.72 seconds. Ray's 3 meter time was 0.83 seconds and his 10 meter time was 1.83 seconds. Therefore, Ray is actually as fast as the gold medal winner from 3 to 10 meters, but he can improve his time to 3 meters by a tenth of a second. This means we are looking for any small technique changes in the first couple of steps to help him make up this tenth of a second. Next we will analyze Ray's mechanics at key points throughout the first two steps compared to the gold medal model developed by Dr. Ralph Mann of USA Track and Field. All of the images and timing information are reported from Dr. Mann's book, The Mechanics of Sprinting and Hurdling. First we will look at Ray's set position. All of his angles look pretty similar to the model. He could perhaps lean a little bit further forward, but this is dependent on comfort. Next we will look at the left foot clearing the rear block. The gold medal goal time is to clear the rear block in 0.14 seconds, and Ray hits this time exactly. Most of his lower body and torso angles look pretty similar to the model, although there are some slight differences with the arms. Next we'll look at when the left foot and when the ankle crosses the right knee. Most of his ankle angles look pretty similar to the model, although his left foot is slightly too high off the ground. A lower carry through may be beneficial. Next we'll look at his right foot clearing the front block. The gold medal goal time is to clear the front block in 0.28 seconds, and Ray nearly hits this goal time. Most of his angles look pretty similar to the model, but his left knee is slightly more bent than the model, and his left foot is slightly too high off the ground. This will cause his flight time after block clearance to be longer than necessary, and this is one potential area for improvement. Next, we will look at step one touchdown. Ray's flight time after block clearance was 0.11 seconds, which is longer than the gold medal model. This is an area where his start can get faster. If Ray can direct his forces more horizontally and have a lower recovery, he will improve this step in the race. Additionally, Ray's right foot could be closer to the ground, similar to the Jamaican toe drag technique. One good thing is that Ray's front, front side thigh mechanics are actually better than the model at this point, and this leads to a very short step one ground contact time. Next, we will look at step one ankle cross. The gold medal goal time is to hit this position in 0.42 seconds, and Ray nearly hits this time. All of his angles look pretty similar to the model. Next we will look at step one takeoff. Ray's step one ground contact time was excellent, and was actually slightly faster than the model. At takeoff, his right hip and knee are slightly more flexed than the model, causing the right foot to be slightly higher off the ground. Next we will look at step two touchdown. Ray's flight time after step one was 0.07 seconds which is very close to the model. All of his angles look pretty similar. Ray's thigh front side mechanics are actually better than the model at this point, and this leads to a very short step two ground contact time. Next we will look at step two ankle cross. Ray looks excellent at this position and all of his angles look pretty similar to the model. Next we'll look at step two takeoff. Ray's step two ground contact time was good, although slightly slower than the gold medal model. Ray looks good at takeoff and all of his angles are pretty similar to the model. Finally, we'll look at step three touchdown. Ray's flight time after step two was 0.09 seconds, which is slightly slower than the gold medal model. Again, he has a little bit of excessive aerial time during all of the first couple of steps. Otherwise, all of his angles look pretty similar to the model. Ray is an elite sprinter, and if he can reduce his time in the first three meters of the race, he will be on a gold medal pace. Since Ray's ground contact times are very good, the most effective way for him to improve his start time is to lower his aerial time and to increase his stride frequency during the first two steps. He can do this by directing his forces more horizontally and having lower recovery during these first few steps.